Welcome to Local Action National Purpose Hot Topic Session, Climate Change with Family and Friends. I'm Leila McCurdy, Chair of the Climate for Health Leadership Circle Executive Committee. I'm delighted to be here with Dr. Georges Benjamin, the Executive Director of the American Public Health Association, which I'm a proud member of. We are here to talk about how you can engage with your family and friends about climate change as it relates to their health. As public health professionals, Dr. J Benjamin and I know that climate change is the biggest threat to public health. Concern about climate change is also rising among Americans, and so is trust in health professionals as sources of climate change information. The majority of Americans are making the climate and health connection. In a recent survey, Americans chose protecting personal and public health as the top motivation for supporting climate solutions. Many of us understand that climate solutions come with health benefits. And there is widespread agreement that we have a moral responsibility to create a safe and healthy future for ourselves, our families, and our children. However, we still have a lot of work to do to motivate people to take action. One of those is to offer simple steps we can all take in our homes and neighborhoods. Dr. Benjamin is an outstanding public health leader who talks about making climate change a kitchen table issue. Can you share your thoughts and tell us what are things people need to know in order to get motivated to take action? Well, Lila, thank you very much for having me. Look, um, people often ask why, why I say it's a kitchen table issue. And it's because, you know, when you're sitting at the kitchen table, you're talking about how hot it is, what the weather is outside, particularly when you have freak, freak storms. You talk about wildfires. Um, you talk about, you know, severe storms that are happening in the community. Um, and all of those things are happening because of climate change. Uh, and we know that um, our homes account for about 20% of carbon pollution. Um, you know, we waste about 40% of the energy in our homes. And so there are many things we know we can do about climate change. We just haven't done it. And so I'm trying to encourage people as they sit around the kitchen table and they talk about the problems to start talking about some of the solutions. Thank you. That's uh, a wonderful guidance for all of us. Uh, can you also please tell us about some of the actions that our audience today can choose to take in their homes and neighborhoods to protect their health in a changing climate? What are the most prevalent health impacts we face in our communities, and what can we do to protect ourselves and our families? Well, you know, obviously heat waves, um, um, uh, air, bad air, um, significant air pollution um, is a big issue, uh, whether it's through a wildfire or simply because of poor air quality. Um, because of particulate matter, because we're still burning fossil fuels, um, like there's no end to it. And the things that people can do, quite simply, is just think about your house. Look at how you can weatherize your house so that you're not losing heat. Um, cut off uh, the, the lights when you're not using it. Bring the temperature down in your home. Um, wear a sweater. Um, those are some simple things that one can do. But I, I got to tell you, you know, switching to um, more high efficiency light bulbs, uh, trying to get a, a hybrid car when you, you know, when you can afford a car, a new car, go to a hybrid. Um, eventually, we're going to be all going to electric cars. I mean, those are some of the, the common sense things that we can do based on what we do every day, recycling and making sure that we uh, think about as part of our carbon footprint uh, on just about everything we do. Yeah, those are all wonderful suggestions we can all uh, incorporate in our daily lives. So um, there is so much we can do uh, to tackle climate change, um, and uh, including, as you mentioned, in our daily lives. So I have a two-part question for you. Um, what are some of the things we can all do today to help tackle climate change? And the second part of the question is, what is one message you would like to 
have our audience to take back to share with their friends and families so they can be part of the solution. You know, so many people think climate change is just too big of a problem for us to do anything about, but everybody can play their part. So doing things to reduce your own carbon footprint is the first step. Uh, secondly, advocating for, for climate change. You know, go to the Equal America website. Uh, we just have an enormous amount of materials for Equal America uh, to help people, tools, to give people the information so that they have intelligent conversations with their friends, their neighbors, and their elected leaders. I also think people ought to um, recognize that to deal with policy um, is to deal with climate change. And so changing our social conditions is all about policy. And so that means engaging um, in the discussion, talking to our elected leaders, and supporting efforts that we know at the state, federal, even in our local communities, and, and as I say, in the hood, trying to convince people that climate change is something they need to deal with today. And my, my take home message for everyone is climate change is here today, it's impacting our health today, and there's something we can do about it, it's all in our hands. Thank you very much, Dr. Benjamin. Your insights are extremely helpful, and we really appreciate your time and your ongoing leadership.